I've been leaving the windows open and a bee flew in, so I had to capture him and let him escape. But he's safe now, so save the bees. I need to do a ton of plant chores this weekend because I've been kind of neglecting them recently. I need to give them all a good proper water. I have some exciting news. I actually signed up for my first market. I'm super excited for it, but kind of stressed out because I have never done one before. Maybe I'll do like a prepare for my first market with me vlog where I talk more about that kind of stuff and how I prep for it. And we're gonna go to the scrap exchange and then go thrifting. Put on some makeup today. Got bows in my hair. I'll show you my outfit before I head out. I'm publicly announcing that I'm growing my bangs out, so if you see me cut them, yell at me. Scoop local. It's a color changing spoon. Come on, buddy. Hi friends, happy Sunday. So I'm gonna try a new technique. I'm gonna try doing a drop stitch where I just have some yarn and I'm gonna attempt to do it with eight millimeter needles and see how it goes because I've never done that technique before. So that's how it's looking. Um, I think I messed up on this row here, but other than that, it's pretty simple. I'm gonna do a top like this, I think. I haven't decided if I wanted to do like a tank top or a full sweater, but, and it works up really quickly because these drop stitches add like two inches every time you do it. It's closet clean out day. I just made this lime vinaigrette dressing for the salad. Hi, it's Monday. I haven't filmed that much today because I've literally just been knitting all day. So I'm making like a little raglan drop stitch. It was kind of complicated to figure out how to like increase or when. So I'm kind of just freehanding it and not really counting my rows very much or my increases, but I'm still increasing at four points. So yeah, I really like how it's turning out. It's this like cool purple yarn. Yeah, I'm just gonna make this longer, probably until I run out of yarn because I don't have that much and then i'm gonna do short sleeve for this one but this is the garter stitch which is basically when you knit a row and purl a row um, it's kind of confusing working in the round and this is something i wanted to bring up if anyone's watching and you're like a beginner when you're knitting in the round to do the stock knit you don't have to do any purls because you're basically like stacking it on top so the side that's facing you will always be like that v stitch and then on the inside it'll be like like the bar yeah i've definitely made that mistake before when i was first starting out where i thought the stock knit like when you get to a new row you do pearls that's how you would do the garter stitch which is this stitch here if that makes sense but yeah i'm just gonna finish this up and this is gonna be maybe my last piece in the spring collection but i do have all of my pieces right here i'm super excited and i'm excited to show you guys check out my spring collection video because that's where i show me like making all of it and i put them in my new vase it's not oatmeal surprise it's really nice out so i'm going to go to the park it says it's supposed to rain but it's literally like so sunny out. I'm just gonna take that chance, but my weekly dose of touching grass. <laughs> okay, dinner time. This lighting is so awful. I'm making that same bowl salad. It's like a warm salad, I guess you'd call it. For the dressing, I use like two limes, like the juice of two limes, olive oil. I use this and a little bit of garlic powder, salt and pepper, and then I put olive oil and I shake it up. Put kale, corn, beans, avocado, a little bit of yogurt, and yeah, it's really good. You should try it, I'll put all the ingredients on the screen. Here's a little try on. Some people, when they see a very meshy crochet in the pieces, they're like, I don't even know what to wear under that. You can layer anything underneath, like it might even look cooler. See here, I wear like a maxi dress and then it's just like 
a little layer over. Definitely experiment. Don't shy away from very meshy pieces if you don't know what to wear underneath. Literally just throw anything underneath. I even put button-up shirts on underneath knit and crochet pieces sometimes. I'll insert like a photo, for example. And like layering is just so fun. It's always been my favorite part of fashion. Yeah, just experiment. Everything is blooming here. Good morning, happy Wednesday. I slept really good last night actually. I put you guys here on the last vlog, but this is kind of a fun spot while I make my coffee. Yeah, I'm trying to drink less coffee because it makes me really anxious, but I just really like it in the morning. I think if I drink it slow with breakfast, then it's fine. But like if I drink it fast, like I get really anxious. This one's my favorite, it's counterculture. The big trouble one specifically, like I freaking love this stuff. Counterculture is local to Durham. Okay, four minutes. Also, I take these. I take three of them because they're for children, but it's zinc, vitamin C, and vitamin D. Okay. Okay. Just mashed up half an avocado and then some chips on the side and a large glass of water. So I'm gonna eat this for lunch and then we're gonna go to the library. Today's run was horrible. Taking pictures and listening to Lana's new album. I didn't love this when I first made it, but now it's like totally grown on me. I'm gonna just hem it just a tiny, tiny bit. Oh, I did my makeup too. Like very different than I normally do. I haven't done black eyeliner on my waterline since like middle school, so. And I have my little antennas to hide my bangs. I'm gonna start experimenting with makeup again. Just finishing up taking photos for the drop this week. I tied some little bows to my new bag. I'm wearing the sweater that I made last summer. Tomorrow, I'm so excited. It's so sunny out today. Every time I leave the house, I usually bring a snack and I forgot a snack. So it's making me kind of anxious because I don't know. I like always need a snack on me. Does anyone else feel like that? Wow, look at how pretty it is. The new routine is run to Whole Foods and then buy some groceries and then get a little drink because the spins are like 99 cents. I've been laser focused on my computer all morning, so I just like have such a bad headache. I haven't eaten or drank anything, so I'm gonna do that now, but the drop is light. I'm so excited. Hold on, I'll show you guys. Here she is. I also embedded some videos. So I'll be adding all of those here. So that's fun. Let's chat a little bit while I eat breakfast. I wanted to talk about like the cyclic nature of motivation. This is something that I've been struggling with a lot to feeling inspired and uninspired and like when you're kind of in a rut and you just like don't really know what to create. It's really hard and frustrating especially when you're like monetizing off of your creativity. I think when you make creativity something that you are monetizing off of it can really be frustrating and scary because you might feel like that's kind of sucking the fun out of what you're creating. Anyways, I've been going through these periods of like feeling super creative and super inspired to create and then that is followed by not wanting to make anything, feeling like I have no ideas and no ideas are ever gonna come to me again, which is unfortunate because I have so much other stuff to do. So now when I'm doing those things, all I can think about is making things. I'm not really sure why I'm talking about this, but, but I'm sure some of you guys go through this too, the cyclic nature of feeling like motivated, inspired, and then uninspired, unmotivated. I just want you to know that I go through that too and you're not alone. I mean, not that I like that people go through that, but it makes me feel a little bit more secure when I know that other people go through the same thing. I don't really know how to fix it and I don't have advice, but that's all I wanted to say was that I've been recognizing a pattern. Do you guys use Notion? Have you guys heard of Notion? And I know like a couple of vlogs ago, I bought a planner and I was using the planner, but then I found Notion, which basically organizes your entire life. But I have sections for like brain dump. And then maybe if I'm not feeling inspired, I'll like go back to that and read it. But I need to get it down or else it will leave my brain forever and I will never think of it again. I also put in a bunch of inspo photos and then I also just like organize everything else I need to do on there. I love Notion and it's free to use. I think it's free. I don't think I pay for it. I like being able to have it on my phone too. Love Notion. I'll link it down below because you guys need to try it. I also write like, I don't really use patterns, but when I would make things, if I needed to like repeat a sleeve or something, now I can just put those all into Notion 
so they're all in one spot and i just have like a little page for all the notes for each project i do notion if you're watching this please sponsor me i love you guys and you guys changed my life hi friends i just filmed the whole video so i'm feeling like anti-social like when i talk to the camera for a long time then i feel like anti-social i don't want to talk but i just want to show you guys my business cards came. So that's what they look like. I got these specifically because I'm gonna be selling in person. I hand stamped this, but then I put it in Canva. So technically it's printed, but I did hand stamp it. I'll cover that up because it has my phone number on it, but it has like my name. The font's a little bit smaller than I thought it was gonna be, but I mean, that's my fault. I really like them. Happy Friday. We're gonna go get some Indian food, hopefully. We can get in. It's Friday night. It gets like really busy downtown on Friday nights. I'm gonna wear like a really casual outfit because I just wanna be comfy right now. I think this is the end of the vlog because it's been over a week. So I just want to say thanks for watching and thanks for hanging out with me. If you enjoyed, make sure you like this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.